Welcome to this video in which I'm going to introduce you to this plant, which is Dull Oregon Grape, also known as Mahonia nervosa. Now this little guy, you can see I'm crouched right down here, so this is a pretty small plant. Um, it almost looks like, if you look at the base of it, it's quite prickly. Um, it almost looks like it's whorled. All the leaves kind of look like they come from the same spot. It is actually an alternate if you were to look in there closely enough. Uh, you can see it has these long leaves. Now, this is one leaf. So you can see they're pinnately compound, which looks kind of like it's opposite, but it's one leaf. So this is pinnately compound. On the bottom of the leaves, you can see this sort of net-like pattern of veins on the leaves. And that's one of the giveaways for this one, as opposed to its cousin, which is tall Oregon grape. Um, this one has the, all these net of little veins on the bottom. You can also see the edges evenly spaced little prickles, quite pointy, like I said, and these leaves are quite leathery. Now it's called dull Oregon grape, has a little bit of gloss to it, but if you saw this side by side with tall Oregon grape, that one's really shiny. So dull Oregon grape is what this one is. Now there's another thing to notice on this plant. Down in the bottom, early in the spring, you will get little yellow flowers and they turn into these little sprigs of berries. Now these guys are not ripe yet. They will be purple when they're, when they're totally ripe. They are edible. Um, these guys are not edible yet. They probably won't taste very good. Um, and the berries themselves, I mean, you can try them. They're not my favorite. They're a little bit fibrous kind of, but they will be a nice deep purple with sort of a whitish coating on them when they're ready. So there you go. Mahonia nervosa.